Well, what's up everyone, it's Matt Morozik, and I wanted to do a video on this really cool Hellboy kit that I'll be doing for a client early next year, early 2021. I actually had this for a few days, but I haven't been up in my studio lately. We've been kind of getting ready for Christmas and stuff, so I've been kind of taking it easy the past few days, but um, this is an incredible kit. This is uh, the first piece offered by the Master Solid Modeling Studio Group. Um, I'm not sure if you know who those guys are, but uh like soul is a part of that group and they um they're starting to make some uh pieces and this is their first offering and it's quite impressive for a first offering so it took a while to get this piece out because initially um i don't know was a year and a half or two years you know a lot of times these custom things take two years or more to get out because it's just a slow process the factories are backed up with with things and Anyway, it finally came out. There's a lot of worry that it wasn't going to come out because lately there have been a bunch of custom groups that have kind of gone under. Um, <clears throat> so there was a lot of concern that this wasn't going to make it out. Um, I initially had one on pre-order. I sold my pre-order because, again, I got laid off and I'm just not buying kits anymore. Um, because I don't have, like I always say, this, I don't have room to storm. I just want to paint stuff. So I was lucky enough to have uh, a client of mine uh, send me this to paint form. I just got a few days ago the um, I'm not going to take it apart. There's a ton of pieces to this thing You can tell it was designed by a painter because the way it breaks down into I don't if I had to guess the number of pieces uh, Probably about a hundred pieces easily a hundred pieces. Maybe, maybe not that much Maybe 50 to 60 pieces, but it seems like a lot uh, For instance like these little guys on the bottom here like the horns come off um, Now <clears throat> some overall the quality is excellent um, the sculpting is top-notch the details are super crisp um, it was a little hard to figure out where some of the pieces go actually I still have one piece where I have no clue where it goes because I can't find the key for it <laughs> um, so some pluses and minus uh, the, like I said the pluses are the details are amazing the sculpt is great um, the switch outs are, are really nice he's got two different heads and two different um, left hands and that's all the switch outs which is which is uh, uh, all you need you don't need 20 heads or eight heads i saw a custom piece uh, not too long ago wonder woman i think it was it had like nine heads i mean it's just that's crazy i don't get it <laughs> do two do two heads and be done with it um so what's he doing so this is hellboy he's sitting on top of a base that falls off right next it's not glued and it, it says something. I'm going to take that off because that's going to break if it keeps dropping. Um, one of the minuses is that this, this resin is very brittle. Um, I've had a few little breakages. Um, and I'll discuss that in a minute. Actually, I'll discuss that now. It's just me going back and forth. So the, it came in your standard uh, black foam packaging. It was packed very well. It was actually packed too well because I had a, hard, had a very hard time getting some of the pieces out because it was packed so tightly. So there's a fine line between packing pieces so they don't get damaged and making them pack them too loose, like, you know, too tight or too loose. You have to do it just right because some of these pieces, I got a, a bag full of little pieces here. Some of these are very fragile. I've broken a few of them just trying to put them on the kit. So um, one in particular, I think I'm going to switch out to a, a mixed media and I'll get to that in a second. But the packing was very good. Again, it was, <clears throat> it was a little hard to get some of the smaller pieces out because they had everything individually wrapped in in um <clears throat> tissue paper but the it was very tight fit so it's a good thing but it's also a negative thing because if you're really you don't know what when it's wrapped up in the, the tissue paper you don't know what that piece is and you go to grab it you could break it and mean it out of the packaging and that happened to me on uh one or two little pieces so uh but <clears throat> so it, it, it arrived undamaged until i tried to unpack some of it um and i had one little horn break on me um right here I dropped it on the floor and the tip broke off, so I had to re-sculpt that. Uh, that's not the end of the world, but again, the, the resin is pretty brittle, and that's that's pretty customary with these things. I think this is like poly polystone, I think is what it's called, but it's a really hard um, material. Very, really good resin has some flex to it, so like if I dropped the, his tail, it wouldn't break; it would bounce. But if I dropped this tail, it would probably break because it's so hard; it's brittle. Um, it came in two layers. Um, but to give you an idea of how this thing breaks down, like the, the boots are a piece, the legs are a piece. These hand grenades are actually two pieces each. You got the little, you get the grenade and you get the little, I don't know what you call it, the handle on top. 
that's broken down so that's a those are each hand grenades two pieces um this is a piece each pouch each pouch is a piece i gotta do some heating with some uh heat gun or a hairdryer these little straps on the side are a piece um the fist of doom is a piece that actually casted the thumb individually which is kind of interesting um what else the gun holster is a piece uh, the horns are different pieces the hand <clears throat> so it breaks down a lot and on the bottom here oh I, I'm, I'm jumping around because that's what i do um we got some little skulls that kind of go on the base here these are really pretty really sculpted really well um what else like i said these heads each of these heads have two horns and each horn is a piece so uh some of it came magnetized other parts it didn't i spent a couple hours yesterday going through and adding some magnets to things um just so i can try to use the original packaging uh, my initial thought was i'd glue most of them together uh, if i do that i cannot use the original packaging because again it was all broken down um, which i love as a painter because it makes painting easier you're not having to mask off so much there will be some masking and stuff that i have to do on this tons of hand painting because of the details um but it does make it difficult that when you if it is glued together you can't put it back in the original box so i'm gonna do my best to use, use the original packaging because um it, it's just it's just always better if you can um so yeah so lots of pieces the sculpting's great details are amazing um like i said i broke a few little pieces trying to one little piece i broke which is kind of annoying there's like a, a sculpted rope that hangs down from his gun right there I broke that trying to get on so what i'll probably do is I'll, it, since it's so fragile and thin i'll probably end up just switching that to a mixed media piece of real rope um that way it doesn't break on my client when he tries if he tries to put it on um but like he's got like individual shoelaces i mean these are pretty cool <laughs> they go on right here these will stick on a little bit um oops as i just drop it the one thing i might do on these because to me it doesn't make sense that when they're tied they stay like perfect bows i may heat these up so that they droop down because whenever you tie your shoe or your, a boot and you got a bow it doesn't stay like a perfect bow it would droop down so i may heat these up so they droop and make it look more natural this is the one piece i have no clue where this goes it looks like a little knife like a switchblade there's a little key but I've, I've i've been playing with this thing or working with this for a couple like i said a couple hours yesterday and so I have no clue where that goes. So if anyone has this piece and can tell me, that'd be great. Um, but I, <laughs> I don't see a, a, a place for it. Um, so who knows? Um, okay, so let's go to, let's, 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 I kind of went over the quality, the switch outs. I haven't looked at the switch outs. And here's some more pieces, like they sculpted the fingers individually, uh, the trigger fingers indi individually, which is actually really nice because trying to paint a gun with a finger going through the trigger is actually really tricky. So they casted that one finger individually, which is a really smart move for a painter. He's got this really big ass gun right here. I just see I got a little bit of breakage right there I got it fixed. Huh, I did not notice that. So I got a little chip right there I got it fixed. Don't know how that happened. So again, it's brittle. If you drop something, it's gonna break. <clears throat> um, so the base has some words on it, but I can't really tell what it says. Um, what's this say? Uh, I can't tell. Maybe after I paint it, I'll be able to tell what it says. But there are some words. Um, paranormal. Oh, this is um, bur okay. B Bureau of Paranormal that uh, um, research and okay. So it's that um, I forgot what it's called, but the the paranormal research group that he belongs to that's what's on the top of the base so i know i've jumped around because that's how my brain works and never it's never a straight line it's always like this <laughs> so let's go from the bottom up and we'll look at some of the details on this so as far as magnetized goes the only things that were magnetized were these little horns and uh, his right arm and the heads that's it so i spent a few hours yesterday adding magnets to things so like i added magnets to all these heads so now they there's a quarter inch magnet in here and a quarter inch magnet here and those fit very nicely and the horns were already magnetized from the factory um so this is just the same all the way around there's four of these there's a tip i gotta i gotta fix 
No, not the other one again. These are plenty strong. Let's put those in there. And then if we move up, kind of look at the top of the base. It's got this really long, I'm not sure if this is a specific weapon from Hellboy, but this is really long kind of, I think that was in the, um, the second movie, if I remember correctly. I don't know what it's called, but it's a really long spear. It's going into the base. You've got a few of these little skulls that are just, you just put them wherever you want. Um, that was another thing that's confusing. On some of these, you don't know where the pieces go, and they just actually just lay on the base wherever you want to put them. Um, he's got his foot on top of a, what looks like a, uh, a tire or a blown up motorcycle or something. I'm not sure this is supposed to be from the second movie uh, where he destroys all those mechanical soldiers. But again, so there's a ton of pieces to this and like this right here, there's uh, this is there's one, two, three, four, five, like eight pieces just on this alone. And then you have these other pieces like this that come apart and you just put them on the base kind of wherever you want. So I, I just kind of placed them based on the renders I saw. And we have another piece right here. And I just, again, according to the renders, put them wherever, wherever you want. Just, it's just wreckage. They don't key in anywhere. And this has a pipe. It comes down here, and I kind of like, I think this looks good if you put this in, so this kind of overhangs the base a little bit. That's just my opinion, kind of like that. And we've got this piece right there. Um, so it's just wreckage, whatever this thing is, is he just beat up. Um, so that'll be fun to paint. I'm not sure if I'm going like, to do rust effects on it or not. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but you have two of these skulls, and then all the wreckage from whatever it is he just destroyed. Uh, and then we get the boots, which are really, really nicely detailed. Again, is they each have their own little bow tie for the lace. Again, I think I'm going to heat these up so they droop, because that doesn't make sense. They would they'd be sticking straight out like that. Um, they would droop a little bit. Let me get some more light. So it goes right there. I think I'll heat it up so they droop, so they're not sticking out. Um, and then we move up to his pants. Nice sculpt on the pants, lots of different textures and details like knee pads, stitching, all that stuff. Um, some of the magnets I added yesterday, I added a magnet to this gun right there. So I can take that off for packing. Oops, I'm gonna, again, I gotta take that off because it's gonna break. I'm gonna take this out. <clears throat> uh, let's see, the grenades I did not add magnets to because it's too small, so those will get glued in. Or I'll, actually, I'll just leave them separate because they'll key and they're not, they're not going to fall out. Maybe I'll add a pin, but they're not going to come out. Uh, I added a magnet to this knife in the holster right there. So that comes out, magnetized. All the pouches have magnets now, so that can and they, they can go in it. There's no specific spot. They all fit equal in each hole. There's a, they're all the same pouch. Oh, the tail came magnetized from the factory, which is nice. Um, so we got these pouches, we got some really nice little metal details here on the, on the belt. Right here, we got lots of leather, I mean, it's going to be like a hand painting, just lots of hand painting, a lot of hand detailing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this tool is, but it's there. They also did include some trinkets and some chain to hang them by. So let's see, I'm gonna open this little tiny bag here of parts we have. <clears throat> so for trinkets, we get a cross. We get a, a bone. A little bone. And then you get a little tiny skull. So you get like three little trinkets. Um, so I don't know if like if my clown will want me to put additional trinkets on, like I did with the Naren Hell Boys, I don't think you need it. There's so much going on with this piece. Um, it may be a little over, it could be a little overdone. Um, so I don't know, it's really up to him if he wants me to do that or not. Uh, <clears throat> got the Hell Boy symbol right there on the belt buckle. Great, this looks like a horseshoe right here maybe. It has a horseshoe sculpted in. Um, like I said, these little straps come off. I'll, these will get glued on. I got to uh, get some heat 
because this little opening of this buckle goes right there and right now it doesn't fit. I got to heat it up to get it to fit. So I'm just going to have it dry fitted. Now if we look at the sculpt on him, it's really nice. It kind of looks like Ron Perlman, but it kind of doesn't. So yeah, I, it, to me it looks like it, 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 it looks like Ron Perlman almost um, a little, maybe a little longer in the face, but really great sculpt. Now there is some stuff here in the in the in the sculpt here. I can't tell if it's supposed to be fur. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be fur, maybe on his chest and his abs. And there's there is some on his on his arms. It looks like. So I have to bring those details out. But again, lots of detail here in the leather and the buckles. This piece comes off. Now this piece is interesting. I'll get. I'll talk to that. I'll talk about that when I talk about the head switch out in a second. Um, great detail in the buckles. This is another little sculpted detail that they add in a little piece of jewelry and then come to the back again great metal details there's two i know this is another thing i have with this kit uh, i got two of the same of this piece so looking at the the renders this little piece whoops there it goes one break <laughs> this little piece right here um, I think they're supposed to point in, but I've got two of the same because they don't, I can't, n neither of these key in on this side. So I've got to modify it to fit this, to fit the female key because the way it's, the way it's cut, there's like, the keys are slightly different. This is a straight key in here and this has got a little bit of an angle when none of these are cut or keyed to fit in that side. So it's not that big end, end of the world. That's just, I have two of the same. I probably should have gotten a different one. But those go into there. <clears throat> uh, let's see what else. I like the long hair portrait. That's my favorite. Um, or the long hair version. Um, now one thing they did do, which I wish they wouldn't have done, is that the horns, you, have, you get a set of long horns. I do like the fact that they're kind of bone and they're all weathered or they're cracking and stuff. I think it's really cool. And you get a set of short horns. What you cannot do is you cannot take the long horns they're not interchangeable between the heads. So the long horns only fit in the long haired portrait and the cutoff horns only fit in the short haired portrait. So I might modify these slightly um, just by drilling holes and making it so that you can switch them out because why wouldn't you be able to switch them out? That's just one of my little critiques. I think you should be able to, if you want to put the short haired horns on either portrait or long hairs, you should be able to do that. So. That's one of my little crits on that. I think you should be able to interchange those. It's a pretty easy switch out. Basically, I can just um, drill a hole and put pins and modify the keys. So I may do that. Um, talking about switch outs while we're up here. Oh, we didn't talk about the Fist of Doom. Let's go back down. Fist of Doom's pretty nice. It's pretty simple. It's a lot smaller in scale compared to like what the Nairn Fist of Doom is, but it's nicely detailed. So. but it's all stone where the one on Naren is looks like it's metal. So I did add a magnet to this. There was no magnet from the factory. So I added a magnet to the Fist of Doom. Oh, I also did add a magnet to the torso and the legs. So um, I may glue them together later, but for now I've got it magnetized. I really don't want to pull the torso off with all the stuff on it because again, it could fall off but there's a half inch magnet in the torso and the waist to keep his torso on. And it's, it's, it's stronger to keep him from falling over. Um, okay, going back up. Let's say jump around like crisscross does. <laughs> okay. So the other, so your two switch outs, you have this pistol for a switch out. Oh, again, backing up, that's what I do. I try to add a magnet to this arm, but you cannot because there's the, the amount of meat or material in the middle of the torso for magnets is about this thick. And they already have a magnet coming in on this side from the factory and there's no room, there's no thickness to add a magnet to this side. So this arm will have to be glued on. Um, so they could have done the keys a little bit differently, made them a little bit, give you some more room in there for magnets. So that's why there's no magnet in this arm from the factory because you physically can't add one. There's not enough 
thickness of resin to put a second magnet in there. So I'll have to glue this arm in. Uh, there's not even room to put a key or like a, a pin. There's not enough meat. So um, that's like a design thing that could have been addressed, but um, just glue that arm on. So right now it's just on with blue tack. That's why it looks as there's a gap there. Okay, so the switch outs. We have this one hand right here with the pistol. Looks really good. And then we got this guy. It was a great big Gatlin gun. Again, I got a little bit of damage there I got to fix. I'm not sure what happened. And that goes on like that. I've got a rubber band together because this part is separate from that. And there is a leather strap. It probably won't stay on. It comes out from underneath. I'll just have to do some heating again. Um, I had this. Yeah, I've got to heat this up. Oops, what I drop? Oh, his ponytail. Anyway, this strap goes from the butt of the, or from the, from the butt of the gun up here. It might stay. Let's see. I heated it up yesterday, so it, there it kind of stays. So I got that leather strap there. It goes around and ties in up there. <clears throat> I'm going to take it off so it doesn't fall. And I'm going to take that gun off. And then we'll look at the head and switch outs and put the pistol back on. Okay, so the head switch outs. You have a short hair, you have the long hair, which uses the long uh, horns. And then we have a short haired version, which uses the short horns, and he also has a cigar. So now the thing about this is I was, initially I was going to plan on gluing these bullets in, but <laughs> you can't do that because of the long hair. If you glue these bullets in, I'm going to take this off carefully. The, the, I like that the, the hair is a separate piece. If you take that off, you can't get the hair out without scratching the bullets. So the bullets have to be able to, have to take the, this is what you have to do. You gotta, if you want to do these, you gotta take the bullets out. And then I probably will glue this together and then put the bullets back on because the bullets overlap the long hair ever so slightly. So you gotta take the bullets out, take the portrait off, and then you can put it back in and it won't be affect the, the, the short port, the short hair portrait are not affected by the those bullets. So you have to make those removable in order to get the long haired portrait on. And then you got the short hair guy. And again, he's got the short the cut off horns. And these probably won't stay because they're not they're not pinned yet. Let's see if they'll stay in. And he has a cigar. And they both have, uh, I'm not sure if you saw it when I spun around, but they both have ponytail, uh, I guess it's a top knot, a ponytail. that goes on the back of the head just like that. Oh, I forgot to mention that he's got some really cool like um, decoration sculpted into his skin right here. So that's really nice. Put a wash in there and darken them up. It'll look really good. Okay, so that's a pretty long video. I'm gonna do a measurement for you. So I got a bunch of little pieces here, some detail pieces down in, um, I think I showed you everything. Yeah, there's a few like little, oh, here's the rope that broke right here. So this goes in the butt of the gun. This rope right here goes in the butt of the gun. Well, as soon as I pushed it in, it broke, tried to push it in, it broke. So I may switch this to a, a mixed media, just a real rope and put it in because that's, if I didn't break it, my client would break it unpacking it or something like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna switch that out just to save headaches um, later on. Okay, so let me put some, of the, let me put all these little pieces away real quick. And then I'll do some measurements. We'll take a look at the size of this guy. It's quarter scale. <clears throat> and So I know I get asked if this is still available. They, they might be available. I'm not sure if they have any left. Um, they were doing a pretty large run of these. Um, they were doing some prepaints and some kits. 
Um, if I remember correctly, the kit price actually wasn't too bad. I think it was like, um, what was the kit price? I want to say it was maybe 800, which is actually really good for this kind of the quality that you're getting here. Uh, and the pre-paint was obviously more. So the height on this guy is without the sh tall horns, 23 inches. I don't know, let me get that back. So you have the um, best to the head, to the top of the head. Let's do the top of the head. That'll give you the, the actual scale. To the top of the head is 22 and a half inches. And if you do it to the top of this gun, you're right at 26 inches. And then if you do um, the bigger gun, it is gonna be a little bit taller. To the top of that, that gun, you're gonna be at 26 and a half inches. So that's how much height you need. 26 and a half inches. And I'm gonna take this one off because of that arm is not affixed yet. Uh, width and depth are about the same. So it's a circle. So we're gonna say width and depth is about, I'm gonna say 14 inches just to be safe. So it doesn't take up a ton of room. It's just a little tall because of the, the, the the gun hands and maybe the horns don't stick up that high but but there you go um quarter scale custom hellboy by the master solid modeling studio this is this is considered an artist proof um i've had discussions about artist proof and the reason this is considered an artist proof is because initially this was going to be painted by soul my client asked for an artist proof to be painted by soul but since he's had a uh he's recovering from a, i think a car accident he had a few months ago he decided to switch it to a kit and have it sent to me. So it is considered an artist proof because it was gonna be painted by Soul. Uh, edition size was 60. Again, I'm not sure if any more are available. Um, and I think the group may be private, maybe one of the secret groups. So if you do a search, you may not find it. I get A lot of guys get mad at me because I either won't tell them where it's from because I'm not supposed to, or the group is secret and they can't find it. It's like, I'm, there's nothing I can do about that, guys. <laughs> A lot of these groups are secret. I get invited <laughs> or, um, and so I belong to a lot of groups that <laughs> I'm sure I belong to some groups I don't even know about because people invite me. Um, just cause I know I'm a painter, but, um, there you go. Really cool piece. Again, this will be early Jan, uh, early of 2001, uh, 2020, Ugh, can't talk early 2021. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure we're going to do the him in the lineup. I've got the Aquaman to finish up. My goal is to get Aquaman done by the first by the end of the year, and then I've got a Hulk coming <clears throat> from Grabbing Labs kit. It's a really cool Hulk. I'm excited to do that one, um, and then maybe this guy, maybe this after that. So as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.